now new details tonight in the deadly shooting of a teenager at a Northeast Miami bus stop. A hearing was held just a short time ago for a juvenile arrested in connection with the murder. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live in Miami with the details. Natalia. Well, the young man who police say pulled the trigger in this murder and actually, according to the arrest affidavit, after the teen who was murdered was wounded, they say that this suspect stood over him, shooting him again and killing him. William Gutierrez is who we're talking about. Police say he was the one who pulled the trigger. He just wrapped up a hearing here. He did not have to appear in court, but the judge did decide that he would be held in juvenile detention until his next hearing, December 22nd. While one teen faces felony charges, students who attended Mavericks High with the victim, 17-year-old Brian Mercado, went to school with heavy hearts. Counselors and Principal Alex Madrigal were here to help them through it. Senseless violence that shouldn't be occurring. Uh, and it's just, right now we just feel for his family, uh, for our kids here at school and the entire school community. Uh, it's, just, it's just difficult at this point. Miami-Dade police arrested Gutierrez and 19-year-old Yves Slander Oriscar this morning. Cops say Oriscar told Gutierrez to shoot Mercado when they saw him sitting at the bus stop. 72-year-old Louise Wallace was also at the bus stop and was shot in the leg. When I looked up, I seen a guy holding a gun yeah, and firing him. And after that, everybody was scouting for their life. Next thing I know, I see him sit like he normally sit. Next I know he's just laying there dead. It just don't make no sense. Police say the two suspects jumped on a jitney and witnesses saw them exchange clothes on board. Police pulled that jitney over and made the arrests. Meanwhile, students are going about their day knowing Mercado's life was cut short at just 17. He's lost another student, another friend. So again, Gutierrez remains locked up in the juvenile system. And two older people who were here, who appeared here during his hearing, they appeared to be his parents. They chose not to speak with the media. Now, Oriscar, again, this co-defendant, he is in the adult system. He is being held without bond. Both of these suspects are facing murder charges. They are also accused of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon for allegedly shooting that elderly woman who had nothing to do with this. And Miami-Dade police at this point have not released a motive for this murder. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Natalia.